How many of you guys wander around the auction house just staring at shit, not even knowing what to look for? You don't know what's a good deal, what's a bad deal, and you fucking hate your team. Well, I'm No Sleeps 12, and this is how to build a team while being a broke ass. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm No Sleeves 12 and we're marching along to that Div 1 title with that free-to-play team that I'm using. Now, something I want to go over with you guys today is how to build a team without having to spend any money and, you know, actually improve your squad. What I'm doing in my free-to-play series is I'm literally just spending my money on packs um, to get players, just to make it more challenging on myself to show you guys some things that, you know, it's not about the players you use. But, that being said, it's obviously a little bit better when you can pick and choose what you want to buy and what you've got in your lineup. So uh, let's get started. But first, guys, let's pick it up in Div 8 in Game 1 here. I'm on the power play. Uh, I fuck up the draw because I'm an idiot. And uh, my AI actually goes in and retrieves the puck for me uh, with that strong forecheck and gets it out for that cross crease uh, tap in. And uh, it's one nothing. All right, so a few minutes after that, I'm on an extended power play. Uh, I lose the puck in the offensive zone. I let my AI pressure him, um, and he just literally skates it into his goalie, and instead of just freezing the puck, he po -check, his defenseman po-checks it out, and it's in the net. Say it with me, kids. Never bite as the last defenseman back. So another good example of some pressure here uh, in the last minute, near the last minute of the first period. I uh, cycle and down the line, fuck up on my breakaway. Uh, my move doesn't work there. Uh, and notice how I'm not pressuring him as the as the player. Again, I let the AI forecheck just a little bit. Again, you guys are. I don't give a fuck who wants to complain about how letting the computer do shit is being a bitch move or fucking not playing the game right. Like I didn't make the game. AI working better on the forecheck is just. You know, that's just how they made the game. Like, I don't know what else to say. So use it to your advantage here. Uh, and uh, I finally get some open space at the point. And, um, yeah, it's a weird one that you know, this guy, I yeah, can't buy any luck. All right, at this point, I've been on the fucking power play, I think, the entire goddamn period. Um, crispy piss missile off a face-off win. And, uh, yeah, that's all she wrote. Alright guys, so let's get in the meat and potatoes of this one, uh, this video, uh, in regards to building a team. Alright, again, this isn't the team that I'm going to use for this video series, but it's an example of what you can do with about 20,000 coins. Alright, I spent less than 20,000 coins, and this is what I ended up with, okay? So basically what you want to do, go to the market, right? Set it, the buy now maximum price to like 1,000, 1,200 at the most, all right. Make sure you hit the <clears throat> quality to rare and gold. So gold rares under under twelve hundred. All right, as buy now. Spend your time here now. You're gonna get a bunch of shit. It's gonna be a mostly eighty fives, some eighty sixes, maybe some eighty sevens on the lower end, guys. But here's what you want to do. Again, in my first video of my line combos and strats video from this hut series, I said go through your lineup and make sure that you have the fastest guys up top in your lineup, and then categorize it by shooting. This is what you guys need to do. When you have 20,000, you can build a stacked lineup when you categorize speed as the most important and shot second. Everything else as far as like defense, checking, all that, I'm sure that there's some fucking kid out there who can disprove this because it's the internet, but I've played about 500 games in NHL 17, and I can tell you that if you're controlling the guy, um, the only thing that's noticeably different when I'm defending against you is that you're either faster or you have a wicked shot. All right, like the defensive stat doesn't really matter as from from what I can see a ton, um, uh, as well as hitting. I mean, if you're going for hits, that's fantastic. I bet you're. I bet you feel good about yourself, but I bet you're losing too. So, and deking again. Um, you know there are some good deeks, uh, but again, you don't need to worry about that as a priority. So, speed first. You want to look for anything over eighty eight. Okay, anything over 88 speed here, uh, and then go with shot. Um, so, as an example, I rattle off a few here. I get Kessler, uh, Broussard, Kane, Camilleri, Marlowe, Zabinajad, Tyler Johnson, Dylan Larkin. Season 2 Dylan Larkin's not bad. Uh, all super cheap, all for under 1,000, okay? Next, you want to make sure that you still have a balanced lineup. Now, what I mean by that is... Don't worry if you have left enough left-wingers and right-wingers and centers, like four of each. Don't worry about any of that shit, all right? 
make sure that you have enough four right-handed wingers and four left-handed wingers, and then four centermen. The centermen are the only thing that matter because they have face-offs, and that's a stat that matters. Okay, so I get Kessler here for about a thousand coins, and he has one of the best face-off stats in the league. So that's a fantastic buy. Okay. Now, secondly, so now what you want to look for is when you're making your lineup, make sure that you've got, again, left-handed shooters on the right wing and right-handed shooters on the left wing. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch my uh, strategies and lineup video. That'll explain it. So now you've got enough players, like enough good ones. Okay, then work on defense. On defense, same thing. Speed first. You will get roasted by guys if you are way slower. I don't give a fuck if they've got 92 shot and 98 defense. If they have an 84 speed, you are going to get fucked on because that is how it is. The, the better players in this game use fast players well, over someone more skilled because, <clears throat> because you can just coast more. You can fly up and down the wing. Like That is what's most important here, guys. So Again, speed, then shot. That's it. All right. So go through, spend a couple, you know, a couple minutes looking at your lineup. Uh, again, here's what I ended up with. Okay. I'll leave it on the screen. Another thing I want to mention this is for, again, right when you're starting out. Okay. So when you get into like Div 7 or Div 8, Div 7, and you've played a ton of games, or about 20, 30 games, 20, 25 games, maybe. Um, you wanna, you'll have about twenty thousand coins, and that's why I'm doing this because in the section I'm at now, uh, you know, it, it's it it parallels very well. So spend about twenty thousand coins now. Don't worry about synergies yet. Like you do not need to worry on the climb up. I I see uh, some of, even some of my friends that get concerned with like all of their players that they're using not having a good enough guy at center or, or right wing and their synergies not, you know, not working cur working right like they should have better ones. Like this is what my video series I'm trying to prove to you guys. Like it is all about how good you are at the game. You get better at the game and then the other shit comes into play. Like not even until di maybe div 2 because div 2 has some div 1 guys that fall out. So div 1 and div 2, that's when you need to worry about, you know, the other things that make up your team. Like what synergies you've got and what defensemen and you know all that kind of stuff um but as of right now it's just speed and shot and you'll have a great team and if you know if you use the you have the right lineup and you use the correct strategies and whatnot you should roast a lot of the guys you play so let's get back to the game action here so i'm gonna pick it up in game three i'm gonna skip the the last game and game two was uh, kind of a shit show and uh i want to keep these videos a little bit shorter now so we're going to skip ahead to game three. Uh, you've seen this before. Easy face off one in the offensive zone. Hold it for a second and just aim left or right with that huge slapper. It's going to go in more often than not. Oh, uh, guys, I'm going to preach this always. Hold on to the puck and just go for the draw. In this instance here, my AI just knocks him off the puck and I score all because he didn't want to wait another 12 seconds. So here, guys, is something I want you guys to start doing. When you get the puck in this situation behind the net, a lot of you are going to curl out in the slot to try for that high wrister because that's what works for you most of the time. But when you have the puck and you're curling around the net down low, left or right, have an eye on the slot and literally just forget about the player you're controlling. Just move back and forth, curl up and back, and wait for that guy in the slot to get open, and you're going to find one-timers way more effective. Alright guys, we're going to fast forward to the Div 8 title game, and here is a look at my stats with my all-star Anders Nielsen. I'm going to get the goalies in a second while constructing our team, but let's start off here. Knock him off the puck, and uh, it's just a matter of waiting for him to bite and having a and a plan of attack before I know that I'm going to pass it right back to him. And then uh, the backhand deke, the forehand backhand in tight here is a really effective goal when you're in tight. All right, so here's a good example of penalty killing. Um, again, when you're using, uh, when you're when you're controlling in the defensive zone on the penalty kill, you want to make sure you're the rover up top here. And the reason why is that so many people want to do the one timer from the point, but you don't have to attack. You just have to be in the way. That's gonna fuck with people enough. Look what happens right here. He tries to make a little pass, but he knows that I'm really close, so he fucks that up. And uh, that slick toe drag top shelf is uh, is up to nothing. And I end up getting on a 5-on-3 here. Uh, he saves the one-timer, but then I set up the overload. On the 5-on-3, it's cake. 
using the overload. And again, guys, when I get the shot of the point here, I'm watching the guy in the slot the whole time. I'm not looking at my defenseman. I'm just blindly controlling him down, waiting for that guy in the slot to get open. And uh, that's Div 8. Done. Beauty. So, guys, uh, we're on to Div 7. That'll be next week. But I want to mention goalies. Again, this is going to cause some debate, and some of you fuckboys in the comments are going to try and get after me. But, guys, I literally don't think they matter. And here's why. Hold, hear me out. If you use Mike Vernon, okay, or Cujo, when you get up into, you know, you have a lot of coins and you're starting to buy Hut Heroes and whatnot, dicking around with that shit, you're going to see that they suck. Like, I don't have, I don't think I've ever had them experience, like, play well for me. Um, that being said, like, as I'm moving up here, I end up using my goalie for the almost the entire ladder climb that I'm using on this team is Anti-Ranta, okay? It is is totally dependent in this game on defense and how you play and what you stop them from doing. Because in the end, we're all really trying the same shit. Cross-ice passes or that wrister up top. And again, they're not glitch goals because they're how you would score in the real NHL. But almost all goalies stop these if you, they're handled correctly by defense. Now, sometimes you're going to get those ones that flutter through, but very rarely. Now, what I will say is if you get if you have an amazing goaltender, I'm talking like uh, Carey Price... Um, or the 98 lung fist, that kind of shit. You know, every one out of every desperation, what the fuck, how did that stay out kind of save will happen. But other than that, guys, it's how you play defense. Don't waste your coins on goalies. You Buy some cheap. Don't buy Luongo, because for whatever reason, he is, he's fucking terrible. But I don't know what it is or what statistic drives it, but in my experience in this entire thing, goalies do not matter. And you shouldn't have to rely on them because you know how to play defense and what you're doing and how you set up and your strategy like that. You don't even have to worry about it because they're not going to get good shots on net anyways. So that's my rant about goalies. <laughs> so now that that's taken out of the way, guys, let's talk about giveaways and shit that I'm doing. All right. So if you guys are following me on Twitch or Twitter already, then you guys already know I'm giving away a ton of cards. Um, essentially, uh, still what I've got left to give um, is my... Uh, uh, McKinnis, uh, as well as Ryan Smith, Lidstrom, Tavares, just to name a few guys. And I do these on Twitch mostly. Um, so what you want to do is follow me at www.twitch.tv slash nosleeves12. I'll put the link in the bottom. Just hit me with a follow and turn notifications on. You'll know when I come on. Uh, most of the time, uh, Saturdays and Sundays, I'm going to be streaming a ton. I always stream a ton on the weekends. Um, and then throughout the week, I sprinkle it in. I work a full-time job, just like everyone else, so it's tough um, to stream throughout the week, but I try my best. That being said, I'm also hosting a single elimination tournament on March 19th for my All-Star Game Shea Weber. Winner will get the All-Star Game Shea Weber. For details and like that, follow me on Twitch. The entry, the only way to get into it, all you have to do is watch me on Twitch for an hour between now and March 19th, and that'll give you access, okay? That'll allow you to enter into the tournament. We've got about 16 entrants so far, so it should be a good time where we all beat up, beat up on each other and uh, see how it goes, right? So that should be good. Again, guys, follow me on Twitter and Twitch. I'm doing tons of giveaways always.